introduce myself, John Johnson from San Diego Mesa College, and I'm here with uh, my uh, uh, colleagues from San Diego State University, uh, Ming, Carl, and some and their graduate students who uh, uh, and, uh, trying to incorporate this into a um, big study that we're doing on San Diego Bay. And last year we just kind of started in on some uh, mapping. Book around. Um, but we've worked on one section of the bay, now we're studying various locations around uh, the bay this year, and trying to determine how we can uh, place data onto maps uh, to demonstrate the assessment that we're doing of, of the bay. Um, yeah, yes, and mapping our world in arc view mm -hmm. as an introductory way to uh, make what we actually teach more relevant. Mm -hmm. We've actually done some uh, we haven't actually used ArcView uh, in a way to import import data that we've actually collected or download actual uh, shape files or what have you. Files. So, uh, but that is the step that we wish to go in in direction. Uh, we've researched some things on getting GPS units mm -hmm. as a way to actually do real activities with kids mm -hmm. and how that might actually work. So. GIS work, maybe you can tell us what you've been doing. Cool. Yeah, it's opposite direction, but it's my um, I'm a student of Dr. Valverde's junior at Hi Kai. Um, I've done a lot of uh, cartography stuff and GPS stuff through both scouting and through science and at middle school. So, and then I've also done, um, I'm working with the Scripps Visualization Center. So I've worked with programs such as Flader Mouse and done a lot of GIS sit, um, like things with modeling seismic data, topography, their displays they have there, and um, 3D modeling like that. And I've also worked with not this program in particular, but we'll about this. Um, next year I would also be teaching geometry, and so possibly, you know, I'm just trying to fill a toolbox for myself, and so I just thought it's a good opportunity to see what there is and what kinds of uh, programs that you guys have, and if they're using it in other classrooms, then there's a potential to share here at High Tech. So. And so you, you, uh, you're not actually in the classroom. I'm just trying to recruit folks and, and get some of our school-based people involved in it. And I'm really interested in GIS. Can, can you tell us, do you have any experience with it? Do you know what it is? Have you, uh... Well, thanks to Daryl, I have a lot of experience with GPS, and I think this is just another step. And, and just, you know, do you have any suggestions for us? And I'd like to kind of ask everybody who's here that same, that same question. Yeah, um, definitely um, it can be incorporated in our, in our I teach an architectural class, so um, you may think that it doesn't have a lot of use for my class, but it, indeed it does. So definitely we can actually incorporate uh, the system and uh, perhaps we can actually invite more teachers trying to get everybody more involved in this because uh, that's where everybody's going. You know, technology is booming now and eventually, I mean... We are trying to uh, in incorporate with high ties. We use web-based, internet-based GIS mm -hmm. to disseminate the information related to spatial data and the content. So we're going to introduce a few modules today about the show the capability and potential mm -hmm. to adopt the internet GIS. Yeah, that, that would yeah. be me. So yeah, I'm Carl Eifert from the computer science side of the campus. It's only a quarter of a mile, I think, between Ming and I. <laughs> uh, and we're trying to bridge that gap in various ways. This is one of them. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm interested in yeah. <laughs> the idea of you know, bringing technology to the geometry class. I, I picked up a chord there. Hey, uh, Barbara, uh, I'm the uh, high tech high. I'm the humanities teacher. So we're uh, when it comes around to the idea of the San Diego Bay and locating where we're at, and uh, that's sort of thing. I kind of have an interest, not too much expertise in there. So I, I'll start with just a very generic introduction to GIS. Um, take that topic and apply it to you and your classroom. And then thirdly, um, introduce the grant that we are working under at uh, Mesa and San Diego State uh, and uh, City Schools. So with that, why we are not using the traditional GIS? The traditional GIS is like this one. Is it, you give it a CD one, you install, you need a computer with the data, everything. But then now we shift to the concept called the web-based, internet-based GIS. 
So for the high school student teacher, so this is the framework for web based real life. And uh, I think our map could maybe use a little more precision, but it's very close to what real life is. This is the generated map. This is very interesting, and we changed the colors based on the depth. But you can see right here on North Island that um, this is actually into the beach. And when this color changes to this reddish area, that's actually new beach that appears on a lower low tide. When you'll be uh, going out. When you're at a charter school, especially, you have more responsibilities mm -hmm. than at a non-charter school. So, but I, I tend to believe that passion of curriculum tends to drive what it is that people are interested in. So it's tapping into that. It's oftentimes I found that when we actually do something, then there's a person looking over your shoulder that's like, oh well, hey, can we be a part of that now? Kind of. And, uh, I, I tend to believe that that speaks volumes mm -hmm. as far as the kinds of work you're trying to do. And it, it like tends to be a people trailblazer. Well, no, I don't. I don't, I don't necessarily mean that. I mean, I noticed. I know we have a program that we that we do um, with geography, and we don't really think it's all that special. I mean, we like. What we